Um, I'm 57 years old. I've left my home, my tiny little rented flat in Twickenham. I've sold most of my worldly goods and armed pretty much with this camera, my tiny laptop, my imagination and intuition, I've become a sort of nomad, I guess. And and it's it's only by by listening to my lion heart that uh, that I'm here. Like otherwise I would have stayed like I did the rest of the years trying to make something work. And I mean I was trying to do things that I was passionate about, but it just wasn't quite cutting it. And every now and again I wondered when I look at my epitaph or when I decide what I want to write on my epitaph, is this going to be what I'd love to see. And no, I realise that actually what my heart is really saying is I want to get out and about, meet new people, experience new things. And beyond that, I really want to explore the magic of nature and the sense that, that nature is, is essentially a collaborative um, it's collaborative. Life is collaborative. It's this whole idea that survival of the fittest is the rule is, is rubbish. It's made up. And so I thought, well, if I just throw myself in at the deep end with virtually no resources, with no idea how I'm going to make anything happen and just see what happens. Now, the result of my first step of being a nomad is that I'm in a stunning place in France called Eco Chateau. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful 27 acre property with a wonderful chateau on it and stunning land in the middle of nowhere and I'm having the most extraordinary experience of really getting down and dirty with nature I guess. And it's by listening to my lion heart, not my chicken heart or my sheep heart, that um, that has led me here. And I'm not I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a chicken heart or a sheep heart, but they're much more about conforming. They're much more about um, what you need to do to to be okay, what you need to do to be safe. Whereas a lion heart isn't at all thinking about that. A lion just goes after what his heart would love. And that's the difference. I see our lion heart as that aspect of us which is our greatness, the part of us that has our, our creativity, our imagination, our intuition, all our greatest qualities, our real wild qualities are inherent in our lion heart, where the other aspect of us even though it can be phenomenally useful, should really remain our servant and not our motivating driving force. So that smaller part of us is the one that cares about our image, about what people think, about what should be done, about how, how society expects us to be. So our lion heart is, <laughs> you know when it's been ignited. When it's been ignited, it's like touch the paper, you know, touch the, what is it? Touch the, um, oh, I can't remember, on the end of a rocket, you know? Um, put, the f put the match to that paper and bang, off it goes. And what do you see? Something absolutely beautiful and inspiring and exciting and magical. So if you'd love to get to know what is your lion heart? What is your particular lion heart? You probably already know aspects of that, but have you really listened to it? Or have you put it to one side? Because it's just a little bit too challenging to follow your lion heart. And if you're thinking, I can't do what I'd love, I've got a family, I've got a job, I've got a house, I've got this, I've got that, whatever, we can always think up a million excuses not to live our life fully. I am a classic walking example of that. It's taken me till I'm 57 to take that big, big step across the threshold. And it wasn't because I had some major nudge like some life-threatening illness. I had wanted to follow my heart since I was in my late teens. I just never had the nerve. And it's only in the last three years since I've been learning a whole intuition, intuition on demand um, modality that I've actually allowed myself to follow these steps. And even then it's taken me three years to really get up and go. But I am now. And if you would like some insight into what your lion heart is really about and to receive maybe a baby step towards heading in that direction, 
please just let me know. I'd be delighted to take you on this mystical, mythical, inspirational journey. Thanks for listening. Bye.